I think as, a, as an industry, we, we, we often operate in a heads-down mentality within our organisations, and this is a fantastic opportunity for everyone to get together and get off their chest and discuss some of the, you know, some of the most interesting topics of the day. And we've got a mixture of, of people from organisations, from academic institutions, from vendors, people who understand technology, people who understand users. And to get all those people together in one room you know, over a period of time and really challenge some of the, the conceptions and the misconceptions we have is just an opportunity that can't be missed. And I think that's the real value in what we do today and, and we do over these events. And for me, that's where I, you know, I get so much insight and excitement around some of the topics we discuss. So within the private sector, I think security is becoming increasingly a board level agenda. There, people are starting to understand and draw a direct link between a security incident, a disclosure, or even a perceived disclosure or breach, and share price, stakeholder value, reputational damage, financial loss. So that link has been increasingly drawn between, you know, between a board level and the user or the employee. That changes completely how security is delivered, how it's seen and how it's invested in within organisations. So I think from a, from, a, from a private and a commercial view, we're seeing a huge amount of investment, huge amount of focus and huge amount of, of notoriety. And that's challenging security professionals in the security industry. I think in the public sector within governments, the pressure is twofold. One, I think there's a huge pressure around the cyber threat, which looks primarily at critical national infrastructure, and it looks at protecting the citizens' data. And I think, secondly, governments are trying to maintain and develop a measure of control. So they're trying to regulate industries. They're trying to act as, maybe as the big brother, but more often as the policeman on behalf of organisations to put in place standards and policies that people can, can adhere to and can feel safe with. So the challenge for organisations is not to lose money, is not to look bad, is not to lose reputation. For, for governments, I think it's a much more paternal instinct to protect and to help develop and promote information exchange in a secure way for citizens. So I think that's the dual challenge that we see. I think actually, you know, short and medium term is a, is a difficult concept. In the industry you're in, everything's moving so fast. And, you know, I talk about, you know, things we see on the horizon now will be right up in front of us in, in a very short space of time. And the three key areas we're looking at, I think the first one is around cons the consumer and consumerization. And what that means is, is a mixture of social media, a mixture of applications, there's a mixture of Facebook and LinkedIn and, and, and other you know, social media applications with pervasive devices. So in the last three months of last year, you know, 101 million smartphones were shipped around the world. Now that is an explosion and a change in how people are using information in IT. That's going to affect us. You know, that seems like a long-term thing. It things seems like a big social change, but actually that's an immediate, immediate problem for people. The second piece is around cyber. We talked about that earlier on. You know, the, the issue around cyber crime, around nation states, around cyber activists. I think this is something that is either a real threat you're targeted directly as an individual or an organisation, or actually a perceived threat. So what are we doing about this? Do we worry about these things? You know, if I'm testing genetically modified crops in a part of the world, am I now going to get targeted because I'm doing that? So cyber is a huge issue. And I think the third issue is, a, is an enterprise issue, and that's around new delivery models. So we think about cloud. So when we put our data in another supplier's environment, when we put our services in the cloud, and ask for a much more utility-based model, who looks after the information there? How can I get the, the, the understanding and the confidence and trust that you are looking after my data in the way I would like to look after my data? So cyber, consumerization, and cloud.